Hello, I am Rupendra Kumar. I am going to perform an experiment simulate analog and digital function blocks under Industrial Automation Laboratory. Let us open this experiment. In this experiment, we are going to perform three simulations. Number one is for understanding the operation of AI and AO function block. Second is understanding the operation of digital input and digital output function block and understanding the operation of logic function block. Let us perform the simulations in simulator. For this, we need an analog input button. and an analog output just we have to connect the output of analog input to the input of analog output now we have to compile it and run if we change the value of analog input to some value like I am giving a random value 28 we can see the respective output in the analog output which is also 28 let us now move on to to the second part of this experiment which is understanding the operation of digital input and digital output function blocks for this just stop the run and delete these blocks for understanding of digital input and digital output blocks we need a digital input block and a digital output block let us connect the output of digital input block to the input of digital output block now we need to compile the program and run now if i toggle the digital input we can see the respective output to the digital output block as digital input is high, digital output is giving it high also. Now we have understood the analog input and analog output of blocks and digital input and digital output blocks. Now stop it and delete these blocks to move on further for third part of experiment. The third part of experiment is understanding the operation of logic function block. First of all, we are going to develop a end gate logic. For this, we need a digital input. and a second digital input and end logic operator and a digital output let us connect output of digital inputs to the input of and block and output of end block to the input of digital output block now our program is made complete we now read need to compile it it is successfully compiled. Now we run it. 
after running we have to match the truth table of end gate for respective program let us toggle the first digital input as we can see our input 1 is 1 input 2 is 0 output is also 0 this is the second condition for and get truth table and this is satisfied and the third condition for digital and get logic is if input 1 is 0 input 2 is 1 output should remain 0 let us toggle the input 1 to 0 output input 2 to 1 and observe the output this becomes zero so we can say third condition of end gate logic is also satisfied and the fourth condition of end gate logic is if both inputs are high output should also high let us toggle the both inputs to one as we can see that when both inputs are high we are getting output as high and the first condition of this experiment was both inputs at zero we are getting output zero so why that we have performed the application of and gate in digital uh, distributed control system now we we will now make a program for or gate logic for that we just want to replace this end end gate logic block by the or gate logic block just connect the outputs of digital input to the input of or block and output of or block to the digital input sorry, sorry digital output input now by compiling this program we need to match the truth table of or gate logic so compile it and run the first condition of or gate logic is when both input are zero output should remain zero as we can see here this is performing same as or block so first condition is satisfied let us move to second condition that is if input 1 is 1 input 2 is 0 output should be high let us see what happen i have toggled the input 1 we can see the output is 1 let so we can say that second condition is also satisfied now let us move to third condition of or gate logic which is if we toggle the output uh, sorry if we toggle the input 2 to its one condition and the output sorry input 1 to zero condition output should remain high as we can see it is performing same as that so we can say third condition is also satisfied now let us move to fourth and final condition of or gate logic that is if both the input are high or one output should remain high as we can see both the inputs are high output is also high so by this we have understood the application of or gate logic in distributed control system now we move we need to move further for not gate logic for that we want to replace this or gate logic or the or gate block by the not gate block not gate block just is for one input so we want to delete one digital input also now just connect the output of digital input to the input of not block 
and output of not block to the input of digital output. Let us compile the program and match the truth table of NOT gate. For the first condition of NOT gate, if input is 0, output should be high. We can see here input is 0, output is high. It means first condition of NOT gate logic is satisfied. Let us toggle the digital input to 1. We can see NOT is providing 0 output. So we can say this is the second condition of not get is also satisfied. By this, we have completed this experiment. Thank you.